is now the Association of Progressive Assembly Members and former Assembly Members has endorsed a campaign promise of the Opposition National Democratic Congress to put Assembly Members on monthly salaries. According to the group, the group, the move is apt since it would empower and motivate Assembly Members in the discharge of their duty as well as make local governance participation attractive to better qualified hands. Chairperson of the group, Martha Gato Lagble, gave the endorsement at a media briefing. Apart from the roles imposed by the assembly member by law, they have become the first port of call in goods or bad times. The assembly member is a taxi driver, the money lender, the sanitation officer, the judge, the lawyer, the dispute resolution expert, among others. In most communities, when things come to a head, the assembly member is always there to intervene. It is on the strength of the foregoing, the era where assembly members work as sacrificial service renders, should not remain with us. It should be in the dustbin of history. Our media friends, this innovative idea Aside empowering and motivating assembly members to work more effectively, will also serve as a base for hesitant but more qualified personalities with varied backgrounds to participate in the local government system to inject more efficiency and effectiveness into how MMBAs are run. Dear men and women, the question on the lips of those opposed to this promise is, can we trust His Excellency John Mahama to implement this pledge? Our answer to this question is a big yes. Our trust to His Excellency John Mahama is backed by what he as Vice President did for Assembly members. It was un under him as Vice President that mo motorbikes were given all Assembly members in Ghana. This is historic, if not unprecedented, in the Fourth Republic. We therefore say with certainty that this promise will come to fruition with His Excellency John Dramani Mahama as President. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we also note with glee the promise to elevate the whole and whole municipalities into the metropolitan status. Yeah. We would want to express our profound gratitude to former president for his bold statements. Like Oliver Twist, we would like to appeal to His Excellency John Mahama and the NDC to consider dedicating a percentage of the district assembly common fund to each electoral area, which could be named Electoral Area Common Fund. To enable assembly members to undertake developmental projects in their respective electoral areas as they are the true agents of development in their communities. Yeah.